What is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm gonna be walking you through a at-home chest workout. Now, I do have to be honest, I have not trained at home since the whole divok. I said that backwards, so if you know what I'm talking about, you're good at using context clues. You guys may have noticed, I got a mic. Yeah, that mic does not work. I don't really think this bitch works. Yeah, no, bro, it does not work. Definitely does not work. But if you guys do want to support the channel, go ahead and comment Mike for the algorithm. All right, y'all, so there are a few things you're going to need to be able to do this at-home workout, okay? Ooh, I look kind of sunkissed. The first will be a set of dumbbells. These are my power blocks. You're also going to be needing either a bench or a floor. Hopefully, you have one or the other. One other thing I do recommend, and we're going to get moving into the warm-up, is a resistance band. It allows you to get your muscles introduced to certain motions, okay? So I like to warm up like this. I like to grab the resistance band and really just put it like this. Uh... If you're an old bitch like me, no, I'm just kidding. A lot of times you will hear cracking in your shoulders and your elbows and stuff. That's just your body and used to the stimulus is a way to put it. At this point, I'm just flexing. Who is he? Okay, cool. So grab the resistance band like this. Wrap it around your hand once, depending on what strength it is. Step on it, put your foot inside the loop dude. like this. So your rotator cuff is responsible for all of this type of movement. We are going to stretch it out. This stretches the rear delt out and gets it warmed up, lubricated if you will. And make sure what you do to one side, you do to the other, okay? All right, y'all, so the first exercise that we are going to be doing is push-ups. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Devin, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm so tired of bitches telling me to do push-ups. Every fucking whole workout I look up, it's push-ups. And you wanna know why, bitch? Because it works. So we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna do three sets of regular push-ups, as many as you can. I know for some people, it's not gonna be much. For some people, you fucking eat push-ups for breakfast, okay? And that's cool for you, you got it, fam. And the reason why we do this at the beginning of the workout as opposed to the end is because because body weight exercises can often be the most demanding and it can require the most energy from the body. We're gonna bust out those sets right now. I suggest you take about one minute to a minute and 45 seconds of rest. Nothing too crazy because I keep the fucking blood pumping. And that's actually like super important when you're training at home is to not take too long of a rest because it's hard to keep that intensity. The important thing about doing push-ups is keeping your elbows, um, in my opinion, kind of tough. A lot of people throw their elbows out to the point where it fucking hurts. Same mistake people make on bench press. Make sure that you are going slowly down on the in eccentric, explode up on the concentric, and sort of pause at the top of the movement so you can squeeze your chest. If you're that person who can only do like five, it's cool. Don't worry about it. The more you work on it, the better it'll fucking get, okay? The next exercise we're gonna be doing is dumbbell chest press. So before I go ahead with showing you how to do the movement, make sure that you choose, make sure that you choose weight that you can actually control, yet it's somewhat challenging. So uh, it's probably best to have a couple of sets of dumbbells. Like if you're doing curls with the same uh, dumbbells as you're doing chest press and you're not a beginner, you're gonna pretty much plateau your gains. <laughs> So the main focus of this exercise is really to feel your chest stretch going back and squeeze going forward. Put it around your body. And then it should go somewhat around there on your arms. And you're gonna, I'm so, so afraid it's gonna fucking pop me. Oh my God, please don't pop me. <clears throat> and this is the most important part right here. That's from the squeezy, like that. And I suggest doing those for three sets of 15 to 20. 
You want to do it in the higher rep ranges because it's not super weighted, like it's not really weighted at all. There's barely any resistance. So the higher in rep ranges you get, the more that you will feel the fiber breaking down and the more that it will actually break the fiber down, okay? This is the last exercise. And you may be thinking to yourself, Devin, we've only done four exercises, bro. How is this gonna help me with my chest games? And the reality is on my push days, I only do, I only do these three things. And the fact of the matter is, if you are doing all of these exercises, and you're putting your fucking heart and your soul into it, you're pushing yourself into you absolutely cannot go anymore on each and every exercise. If you're training at home, I suggest going to failure, okay? If you're putting your fucking heart and your soul, then four exercises is more than enough. And it's the same thing as when you're training in a gym. You don't need five million thousand exercises to get the job done, okay? So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a squeeze press. Just go a little bit lighter than we did for the, for the flat bench press about three sets of 12 to 15 a little bit higher in the rep ranges but still nothing crazy we're not like in the 20s or the 25s or nothing like that okay <laughs> all right y'all so that is the video hopefully you did find it helpful and i wasn't even doing it full intensity so i can only imagine y'all doing it in full intensity is going to be fucking more berserk drop in the comments if the shit actually did help you out say it with me now devin loves you devin's a don and devin is out of here boy ah